Alright, what's up you guys? It's Lloyd here with The Single Guy and I got a very special guest here, Mr. Brian Black. Brian Black's here. We've got a video coming at you guys. Today we're going to be talking about the difference between indirect and direct game. Which you think is better, which you think is worse. So we're going to get into that right in this video. Okay, so uh, how do you like to think about this, Brian? Uh, so my thing is, whenever um, I was getting started, I had a really hard time conveying intent yeah. and just letting the girl know that I liked her because I was... I don't know about you, dude, but I was scared. Like, yeah, I was pretty scared like, too. Just even, um, I just remember back in the day, I would look at a girl, and just even the thought of getting myself to walk over, uh, my knees, like, funny enough, you started to get started nervous shaking. already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so um, when I was starting, like, I would go direct. I'd be like, "Excuse me, you're you're really cute." <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, the way I think about um, direct and indirect is, uh, you know, if you walk up and you say, "Hey, I thought you were cute." Um, you know, I just wanted to get to know you, or I wanted to say hi, because you know I thought you were pretty or something like that. That can work, and I definitely recommend like a lot of students do that at the beginning, just because they they have a lot of trouble coming up with something to say. Um, but as I talk to you right now, I'll I usually don't say that when I walk up. I would say like 95% of the time I come in and just say hi, or like hey, you know, you seem cool or something like that, or how's your night going, uh, just whatever. Or, or literally, if I can't think of anything to say, I'll say hey, what's up? I'm Lloyd. Like you don't really have to say or do anything like. You don't have to convey your intent immediately. And on top of that, if you convey it too strongly, you can actually mess up uh, the interaction that you're having. Totally. Like, it, you know, if you walk up with a girl and like maybe she's into you or maybe she's not into you, if you come in too strong, you might scare her off. But if you come in in a way that's like kind of friendly, like you're just having an average conversation with somebody, then even if she likes you at the beginning, she's still going to be interested in you. And even if she was kind of on the fence or like she didn't really know yet, she can relax and she can decide if she likes you. And so I think if you, even if you're in a situation where the girl's obviously really, really into you, I think you can still go indirect and still just start an average conversation um, and it still be successful. The only time, and we talked about this just a little bit earlier, the only time where I think that going direct really, really works is if it's like late at night or like a festival, everyone's feeling oh. good, like high energy, and you see that girl and you know it's on already. Yeah. Like there's no reason to like, hey, how was your night? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, fact, I like, I like her out. Yeah, and, and in fact, doing that, if she's like ready to go, she's gonna be like, I just want a dude to like make out with me or something, or like, you know, I'm trying to, trying to get some dick right now like this guy's not doing it for me so she'll go up to some other dude who is gonna give you give her that yeah so in those situations and only those situations I would say going direct is probably the thing to do but what do you think about that Brian yeah so adding on to what you said earlier uh, where you teach your students to go direct yeah um, I actually recommend it if you're getting started you should um, like you should go direct because one of the biggest sticking points I had when I was getting started was just the lack of intent so Conveying intent is better than not conveying intent. I know a lot, or at least a lot of my beginner students, um, it's not necessarily that they can't talk to girls in a friendly manner, it's that the way they're talking to girls ends up getting the results that they are not getting. And so by going direct, you're giving yourself more of a chance. <laughs> but it's a freaking dust storm in Vegas right now. Jesus Christ. What's up, man? No tripods? Yeah. Let's can we finish the video up? We got like five we, we got like two now. minutes left. Can we just finish it up and then we'll and then we'll, we'll get out of here? Okay, we'll wrap this up in about a minute. Have you come back and tell me? All right. Okay. Thank cool. you so much, Thanks, man. man. Appreciate it. So, but um, once you start getting more intermediate, you actually want to take off uh, the direct approach. And the biggest reason, uh, this is a different angle that I've heard other coaches talk about, is that um, it, it's actually very, very low value. Like you're like running up to the girl, like, oh my God, you're so amazing. Yeah. And that's just not a really you good- You put yourself down yeah, there. Yeah, that's and not her a really here. good frame to start the interaction in. So nowadays, um, just like he said, uh, unless if I'm feeling super, super into the girl, um, I most of the time just go up with something very neutral and very blase. Like, oh, like you looked interesting. Who are you? Like, oh, like, where are you from? Um, or just a simple hi, I'm Brian. Um, I felt like saying hello. Yeah, and, and that's a really high value way of doing it because yeah. you're like, it's kind of, you're not trying to impress her or anything. You're no, not you're trying not. to like, you're not trying to put her on a pedestal. You're you're just you're, being you're yourself. Curious, that's what you are. Yeah, you're you're, like, being, you're, you're like, curious. Uh -huh. You're like, hey, what, what can you do her? for me? What's up, I'm Brian. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, I would say guys, in general, if you're just starting out, direct is totally fine or for those particular situations. Uh, but for most of the time, I would say 95% of the time, I would go in indirect. Yeah, and I agree with everything he said. Um, but once again, it's like, this is our experiences. 
So don't just let it limit your experience. Like feel free to go out, experiment with, experiment with both of them. Maybe you're a guy who just like it's very congruent to be super direct. I know at one point in my life, like I was a horn dog, and it's like asking a girl like how, yeah, like, how are you was not <laughs> like I didn't. It care. wasn't congruent. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it wouldn't even make butt, sense. Sexy. So um, go out there, try it out for yourself, and. Um, leave a comment for Lloyd letting him know what you guys are like what your experiences were. Yeah Yeah, check out Brian's channel. Just Brian black. He's got a lot of awesome really good infield footage on there He's the man check him out if you liked what you saw consider subscribing to my channel, too um, And if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one weekly coaching hit me up the single guy 2017 at gmail.com. Thanks a lot y'all Good luck out there. Thank you. See you guys